Hello and welcome to the Columbia Daily Tribune's Behind the Stripes webcast. This is sports editor Joe Wall Jesper along with Tribune football beat writer Dave Matter. Dave, uh, looking at Missouri on the defensive line, we talked about the offensive line yesterday. Um, Sheldon Richardson has been kind of a, a guy you've heard about for about four years and last year we just saw a little bit of a taste of what he could do. What are your thoughts on him? Um, do you think he can be finally the impact player we've heard about uh, during recruiting? Well, I think he can be and that's that's the big phrase. It's always what he can do, his potential, and the coaches talk about it all the time, uh, his teammates talk about it all the time, and he talks about it all the time. He, he, he knows he can be a great player, he believes he can, he wants to be, you know, he, he doesn't hide the fact that he has pretty high aspirations of playing in the NFL, but like you said, last year we only saw a taste of it. Now he's been through a full offseason, or at least he's been on campus for a full offseason, a shoulder injury kind of limited what he was able to do, but he got through preseason camp. By my account, he was one of the few guys on either side of the ball that didn't sit out at all uh, during anything, during any drills during uh, camp because he, he stayed healthy. So that was that was good for him. He's looked very dominant at times during drills, but that's just drills. You have to translate that to uh, when you're actually lining up on the line of scrimmage. And I, I think he I think he can be a really good player. If you talk to the coaches now, their response to Sheldon Richardson questions are a little bit different than a year ago. Last year, they always seemed to hesitate at first and say, oh, he's, he's doing some good things. Now it's more about they're seeing progress, you know, he has to translate that to Saturdays. And, uh, you know, he's, he's athletic enough to where he can be an impact guy. They're using him some different roles, and I don't think they would do that with him unless they're pretty confident that he could handle his day job playing defensive mm -hmm. tackle. You know, they're using him up as an inside linebacker in some packages, sometimes defensive end, so they're shuffling him around. And usually Pinkle's staff doesn't do that with a guy unless they are – really secure in what he does his his main job and his main job is obviously playing defensive tackle mm -hmm. they did that a few years back with Zavi Jackson I remember and made him he could play a little bit of linebacker yeah. I think Jockey Smith maybe a little bit um, I wonder if it might also be a way to in passing situations get they've, they've kind of got a lot of good quality defensive ends to the point that you know an all big 12 guy in Brad Madison isn't even in the starting lineup wondering if you know if that's could be a way to get more of those guys on the field at once I think not only do they have more ends, they don't have many tackles. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, I think it's, it works out for them. They've shown some looks in camp where they'll put Coney Ely, a defensive end, inside and bring Brad Madison in off the bench um, and, and go with three defensive ends and Sheldon Richardson inside. And, you know, I don't know. Will that work in the SEC against, um, you know, sometimes occasionally bigger offensive lines uh, and, and different kind of, uh, of offenses where they are running it downhill a little bit more? We'll, we'll find out, but I think that, that will be used more in passing situations, third down, third long, things like that. Um, but when you watch Richardson stand up and play linebacker, he, he chases after receivers and gets to running backs just as fast as the normal linebacker. So he's got great skills. It's, I think what will make the big difference for Missouri's defense if he can actually do that when he's down in a three-point stance and um, you know playing that position. And, and they need someone that can get after the quarterback and be a pass-rushing defensive tackle. They've had pretty good – Run, uh, run defensive uh, defensive tackles, guys that can stop the run like Ziggy Hood over the years or Dominique Hamilton. They haven't had a guy in a while that could really get after the quarterback uh, like we've seen, you know, over the years in the Big 12. Guys like Ndamukong Sue and the guys from mm -hmm. Oklahoma and Texas. That, uh, I, I think Richardson is more in that mold, but we'll see if he can actually do it. He's kind of strong like that, and he's got the speed. I mean, there was never really any question his athleticism. He was just kind of always a guy who could never get out of his own way mm -hmm. academically. You know, he. He didn't qualify out of high school, and then even out of junior college, you know, it was all up in the air until the last second. You know, he didn't show up even the first day of practice. Right. So he's always been a guy that I thought that if he could just see further ahead of his nose and see that, you know, you are good enough if you would just show up, do the off-season program, you know, play the way you can play, you are going to make the NFL. You don't have to worry about talking about it. Right. I mean, you would do it. It would, it would happen yeah. if you would just sort of follow the script here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you get the sense of whether he's sort of that sunk in or not. He is saying all the right things in camp, and, um, you know, I, I don't get the vibe that there's any kind of, oh, gosh, you know, here, here's Sheldon again. I wish he would just, you know, get his act together. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't sense that at all. I mean, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if he's to the point yet where you can call him a leader on this team. I think he still has to prove it, that he can be a good player before guys are going to follow him. Um, but he's saying all the right things. I, you know, I enjoy talking to him. He's a really likable guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just one of these athletes that 
uh, for his entire life, he's, he's been told how great he is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some young kids have, they start believing that, and even though they haven't really fulfilled any of that promise yet. So this is his chance. I mean, if, if he wants to play in the NFL, and if he wants to play in the NFL next year, he has to have a great year. And, you know, he, he needs to be the best player up front for this defense for, for that to happen. All right. Well, join us again next time when we'll discuss Missouri's kicking situation.